Alright, anyway, so let's fly back to Earth. Let's, uh... Not follow any object. Let's deselect with the... Can I please deselect? There we go. And now let's fly to Earth. Now what I like to do is first to orient myself right side up, the um, Magellanic Clouds are on the bottom below the Milky Way and the Large Magellanic Cloud is roughly on the side of the galaxy that the Sun is on. Maybe offset by 80 degrees or so. And then when we get closer to the galaxy you can see there that pink blob that's the um, Carina Nebula right there. So I use that to orient me. We're like 6,000 light years or something away from that. So I'll fly into the galaxy over here. And then there's a, a line of bright stars running like this. Uh, Orion is in towards the, the outward end of those stars. So we'll fly over towards Orion. You can start seeing the stars and nebulae of Orion. Alright, then you can get Orion's belt and try to figure out where all the other stars in Orion are. You can start hunting for the Pleiades. You can also line up Alnitok with the Flame Nebula. There we go, so now we have the belt properly, and that must be Betelgeuse. And there's the Hyades Cluster and the Pleiades Cluster, so now we can line up Aldebaran here with its position in the Hyades Cluster. And back up, and voila! Here is the Sun, here is Alpha Centauri, here is Sirius, and we are home. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just kind of putting them in the center of the screen. <laughs> I should have pointed them out with the mouse cursor. I do apologize. Anyway, here we are. Earth and the moon. And we're home. Yeah, it would be funny, but I am a first-class navigator, as he says. Astrogator extraordinaire, that is me.